Stayallday.com. This drill here is something where I don't really like to use props like a trash can or nothing, but just to give a visual, maybe if you got a screen setter right there. Somebody set a screen for you, maybe your guard gets caught on the screen or goes behind the screen, the big guy guarding the trash can stays back, you know, because you got a quickness advantage, so they don't want to come up too close to you. So you use a quick little stutter dribble through the legs two times, quick little reverse bang bang crossover, then race straight up for the shot. You can hit that shot. So if you're a guard, you're going to run the pick and roll, especially if you're quick. Big guys sometimes are going to play way back. They'll stay back in the paint to stay in their movement comfort zone. And you can take advantage of that if you can hit that outside shot or if the guard guarding you wants to go under the screen. You know, if a team wants you to prove that you can hit shots off the dribble, then you got to prove that you can hit shots off the dribble, especially if you're going to be the person handling the ball. And when you're running the pick and roll, you know you want to be a threat in every area. You want to be a threat hitting outside shots. You want to be the threat off the dribble. You want to be a threat driving. You know, getting into the basket, attacking that big man, you want to be a threat with the pass. If they happen to trap you and take that shot away or take your scoring opportunities away. So it's the same thing on the left side. I think I missed that first example one. And then it's the same thing. Left hand, stutter dribble, reverse bang, bang, cross. Get in there, knock down that shot. Find your comfort zone, get your feet set, and knock it down. Thumbs up to like this drill. You got questions, leave a comment. Work on your game. Serbia, work on your game.